Courteous conversation. Pardon me, do you have a minute? Hi, am I calling at a good time? Whether networking in person or on the telephone, be respectful of the other person's time. A person might be heading out the door on their way to meet someone who just walked in or they're just not available at that time that you contacted them. Always ask if you are calling at a good time or, hey, you're in the same room. Hey, do you have a minute? Can I talk to you real quick? Because they may be on their way to, you know, go do something. Who knows? Don't want to stop them. (laughs) Always ask if, again, you're calling at the right time. If the person you called does not have time, ask for a convenient time to contact him or her. They'll appreciate the fact that you cared enough to respect their time by asking that question. Hey, is now a good time to talk? Most people just call and start talking your ear off with no respect to what you're doing in the given moment. Don't you be like that. Upon closing any conversation in which you were on the receiving end for help, reciprocate and ask if there's anything you can do to assist that person who helped you. Everyone's time is valuable. Respect theirs. If you did call for help, don't abuse it and call them daily, weekly, all the time without ever offering to help them in the same way, either by paying for their time, taking them out to lunch, offering up your time in some way to help them. When you talk to people face to face or on the phone, put their needs first. Whether you call someone or personally meet that individual face to face, don't just start talking about what you want or need right away. Here are some great starter questions to kick off the perfect phone conversation or face to face. Hey, pardon the interruption, but do you have a minute? Hey, am I calling at a good time? Hey, I thought I'd drop by. Is now a good time? Do you have a minute? Is this a good time for me to introduce myself or talk about whatever it is you're going to talk about? Hey, what's new and exciting in business right now? What's going on with you? How's your family? How's this? How's that? Hey, do you have time to hear a really great idea? (laughs) Can you advise me on... Again, how's your family? What are your thoughts on? Can you share what's working for you in? How's your day going? Can I do anything to help? Now, some of these were mixed in there, but I think you get the idea. Just just don't start off the conversation with, you know, just jumping right into your needs. I am calling you because I need. Okay, well, what am I, some kind of like, you know, customer service assistant just waiting for your phone call Uh, what about my day how about my life you know (laughs) Uh, and the same thing and I know this is a telephone stuff but you know we network over the phone as well and maybe when you're in person at a networking meeting you know you don't necessarily have to say so hey how's your day going but at the same time it is true you have needs you have wants you want to accomplish your goals at the networking event but you don't have to start off with all business you know kind of just warm up say hey how's it going yeah what do you think about the event so far yeah what's been your favorite person that you've met have you picked up any great ideas from the event today oh yeah oh it's been great oh yeah yeah hey question you're the one that does xyz one two three i have a question about something do you have a minute okay see how that just flows and rolls and just eh. Bottom line, always be respectful of other people's time. Don't always come off as, you know, your needs, your needs, your wants, your wants and needs. Eh. This other person, they may be having a bad day and they're just not showing it. Or maybe they're under some kind of pressure or stress that you don't know about. Maybe your call could make their day and it wouldn't be an interruption if you actually just kind of started out on a, a personal note. Just a little bit, just one little sentence, one little question. Another great idea is to text them You know, again, this is if you're phoning, hey, free to talk? And then they can reply with, yes, call, or give me 10 minutes. And again, when you're in a networking event, and let's say it's halfway through or towards the end, you can totally walk up to somebody and say, hey, do you have a minute? Are you free? Because they may be thinking about leaving. They may be thinking about going to talk to somebody before the, the event ends. They may be wanting to return an emergency phone call from home. We don't know. So we just want to be courteous and kind and polite and respectful. And it goes a long way. And it takes seconds. Literally, it takes seconds, but weighs pounds. It's heavy. (laughs) Again, 
Don't just start off with business. Ask about them personally. Hey, how you doing? Show you care about them as a human being and just not some answer resource slash service vending machine that you go to when you're hungry. Listen sincerely and closely. By listening first to them, you'll pick up clues as to how they're feeling in the moment and if now really is a good time to talk. This also works well when you meet people at networking events. For example, Hi, Steve. Hey, do you have a minute? How do you like the event so far? Any good leads? How's your day going? Oh, not too good. Blah, 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 blah. Really? What's going on? Talk to me. And then they do, and they talk to you, and they're like, hey, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, being able to just kind of unload on you a little bit, you know, a little venting. I appreciate that part. Uh, yeah, what, what is your question? Well, hey, um, my question is, blah, 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 blah. Show a genuine interest in what they have to say and how they say it and how they're feeling at the, at the time. <laughs> if it sounds like they're having a bad day or night, you might ask, hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? And stay off the business topics until you're sure they're okay. You know, I remember a phone call I was on. I was talking to a client, and she called with her needs, her wants. And it was in her tone that I kind of listened, and I heard, like, hmm. So I hung up the phone, but then I called her back, like, a minute later. And she says, yes. I said, are you okay? And she said, no, I'm not. And I'm like, what's up? Dump on me. Share. If you want. And she did. And she said, you know, Barb, I appreciate you calling me back. This was at the end of the second phone call we had, where she said, I appreciate you taking the time and just listening to me, because many people that I work with, they don't do that. You're extra special. Thank you. See, being nice, being kind, being courteous goes a long way. And it just helps you. And in the future, down the road, when you need something, and you reach out to one of your people, and they remembered how you were with them, for the most part, you could probably imagine they're going to come through for you too. Hmm. Human nature. Humans in general. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> okay, back on track here. So maybe the person is having a bad networking night and you're the person who could help them. You just made a new friend and maybe a new customer or a referral partner. If things are okay, well, and they're just catching their breath, then casually proceed to discuss what's on your mind. Hey, the reason why I came over, would you be interested in? And ask nicely. People love to help other people when they know they're truly appreciated at the other end. No one wants to be at the beck and call of anyone. And don't you do it. Don't you be calling people time and time again, daily, weekly, just, oh, I need help, I need help, I need help. Look it up on the internet. Spend five minutes researching the problem yourself. Now, granted, I've had people call me after spending three hours trying to fix a problem. And they call me and they say, Bart, I'm so sorry to call you. Um, I've been trying to fix this problem for three hours and I just can't get to it. I know you're going to fix it in three minutes. So just please, can you help me? And then, you know, I help you know, in three minutes and then it's over with. But you know what I'm saying though. You know, so many people today, and I'm not talking about you and I'm not talking about me, but so many people today are lazy, lazy. And they don't do the work required to get the answers they want. Or they're lazy. They don't button their lip. They're not patient. They don't listen. Ugh. When you call people on the telephone or meet them in person, have something positive to say to them before you get started with the intended business. Was my comment about most people being lazy positive? <laughs> I tell you something, sometimes they are. <laughs> but hey, we're talking about you, we're talking about me, we're talking about calling people and talking to them in person at networking events, saying something positive. Again, just don't walk up to them or call them and start talking business. Again, hey, can you help me out right now? I know this would be so right up your alley and you're so good at this. This is totally your expertise. In this way, you make a personal connection first. You give them a break from their tired day and talk about something fun. You've actually been very positive on the phone, very encouraging and very um, uh, appreciative. And having been refreshed, they'll also be all ears to listen to you and why you called or walked over. Chances are they're more apt to jump right to what you need and talk right about what you need. Hey, sure. Yeah, we can talk about that. 
So other ways to introduce the conversation is to, number one, give the other person an idea that might help their business before you get into what your needs are. Number two, give them a new lead or a contact for their business before you present your circumstances and what you would like to have that person do for you. And number three, always make an effort to reciprocate. If you are asking for a particular lead or some kind of help for some something, it doesn't matter what it is, and you're successful at you know getting their help, then ask if there's anything you can do to assist them. You'd be surprised how they'll respond. Then the two of you are working together to help solve each other's needs. Remember the art of giving? When you give, you receive. So if you want something from someone, you should offer to give something to them first. I always do, and it pays off every time. Or at least I'm always giving, 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 because people ask and ask and ask so that whenever I do ask for something, you know, help of some kind, people are just, ah, you know, they're stumbling over themselves. Oh my, yes, Bart, please, let me help. You've helped me so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for the past. I can help you right now. Yes, I'll, I'll be right over. Or, yeah, let's meet at that time and I'll help you. So, paying forward kind of thing too. This goes the same for over-delivering. If you ask someone to do something for you, and in turn you promise to do something for them, over-deliver what you promised you would do, that pays off in the long run too. Doing more for others, hmm, it just helps them do more for you when you least expect them to also. A nice thing for sure. You know, when it comes to networking and you leaving the event and walking away and going home and back to the office, these niceties, these uh, methods of conversation, the way you treat people, the way you talk to them, being positive, uh, not starting off with your needs first, inquiring about their day, inquiring about... These elements of conversation have an impact on how people think about you. And you know, whenever you're in front of somebody, you can always make a face, you can always be fake, you can always put up a front. It's when you leave the room, that's when people really talk dirty about you. Or they talk clean. What do you want them to say about you? What do you want them to think about you? Do you want them to think, wow, that so-and-so person, whoa, extremely nice, extremely helpful, extremely a good person. That's a rarity. I don't come across people like that every now and then. Mm. I hope maybe we can do business together sometime, or I can help them, or they can help me. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see, right? So think about that. We reap what we sow. So in the language and behaviors and interactions and how you do that with people, it's going to pay off for you in the long, long run in a great way. And plus, just when you show up to the next networking event and people remembered you so positively from the last one, you're going to be the star of the show. Not that you're going to be the star of the show, but you know what I'm talking about. You're going to be very attractive to network with and say, oh, I'm so glad you made it. You come, yes. I want to introduce you to some of my friends. Oh, I loved meeting you at the last networking meeting. Yes, come. Here. And then it just all happens. It's awesome.